this is one of the concepts that I teach to my clients. We talk about business as a vehicle. So when you have a vehicle, and I'll, I'm going to draw this vehicle, just go with me here. This is a window. This is a door, right? I'm not, I'm not an artist, but I am sensitive about my art. No, just playing. So just imagine this being a vehicle. In order for your vehicle to get you from point A to point B, you have to have what's called wheels. Every vehicle needs to have wheels to get from point A to point B. Think of your business, not as a brick and mortar thing, not as a thing that you just have, but as the vehicle that drives you to create wealth. That's what a business really does. So when you started your business, you probably didn't know that what you have is a wealth creator. But the thing about the wealth creator is that some of your vehicles don't have wheels. One of the wheels, one of the most important wheels that you can have, and here's where all of this stuff that you hear about personal credit, business credit, and all this stuff, this is where all this stuff really comes into play, right? One of those wheels has to be personal credit. So if you have like challenges with your personal credit, and if you were like me back in the day, I, I used to tell them to get in line. <laughs> like, you're not the only one I owe, get in line. Like, because I didn't know. I didn't know that I was holding myself back from creating wealth for myself and my family by saying that. And I also thought that personal credit was for me to go shopping. Literally, hello, somebody, we're going by buy purses. We're going to get our nails done, like all that stuff. Like we swipe credit cards. Right. So I really also thought that. Um, but what I did not know is, is personal credit is com completely tied to the wealth that you create. Because if you build your personal credit, then when you come across those contracting opportunities, like a half a million dollars where you have to go spend 50,000, right. To get a half a million, which means that it costs you nothing because <laughs> when you get a $500,000 contract and you all you have to do is spend $50,000 on products to go get that, then not only did you get your $50,000 back, but you also got what's called a return on your investment of $450,000. Are you with me? Everybody, y'all with me? You're following me? So personal credit gives you leverage to access capital, okay? And the one thing about personal credit is you can jack it up and you can fix it. You can jack it up and you can fix it. So wherever, no matter where you are, if you're at a 400 or 500, you can get to an 800. 700 and it don't take that long six to nine months you can do that but you have to make the decision that i'm going to be better and i'm going to start creating wealth and i need to fix this right so i can have that leverage that i need the second wheel that you need to have when it comes to creating wealth is business credit okay business credit is king, right? Because while you're growing your personal credit and you have leverage, maybe you can get a $50,000 credit card or a couple of them or three or four of them, right? Business credit gives you like four times as much. So maybe that credit card limit will be 100,000 or 200,000 or 150,000. So now you have both working for you. So now you're creating financial access to capital, between these two. Not only do business credit opens up like credit cards and lines of credit and revolving lines of credit and all those different things, but also in the beginning, you're starting with what's called vendor credit, which is like places where you can go get the supplies, go get the paper, go get the pencils and stuff and not have to pay that back for like 45 to 60, sometimes 90 days, depending on where you go. So business credit, personal credit, those are two wheels. The third wheel is government contracts. This is what most people sleep on this, the B to G business model. Government contracts gives you what's called huge cash infusions into your business. So you have nothing but cash flow because the contracts are so large that it's bigger than your bills. You don't know what to do with it. You will start landing so much money with government contracts that you won't know what to do with the money. But this right here gives you the power to leverage that cash flow to then go make your money, make money. Have, whoever heard of that term, make money, make money? Well, that cash flow will allow you to then go create what's called asset. That assets could be, hello, real, realtors that's in the house, real estate, right? Rental property. We're not talking about stuff that you go live in, right? You want to go create assets that you rent out and it's making you money. So that's rental property. Things like um, luxury vehicles that you're not going to drive around. You can drive around for branding purposes, but luxury vehicles that you can rent out on places like Toro or go, you know, to have in Miami, like your cash flow would allow you to be able to do that. So now you have all of this stuff, you're creating money. Um, now you're creating assets. When you get into this type of cash flow, this is where the wealth happens when you get to this third wheel. Then more money creates more problems. So now you have to think about how do I create tax advantage strategies for myself? Like the one guy that I was talking about, I'm um, talking to earlier, he was talking about how he has all his trust set up and he don't he only pays so much in taxes because of like those strategies and stuff like that. Well, there, there's different strategies that you have to have when you start making this kind of money. 
then you start thinking about how can I keep my millions? Because believe it or not, the number one biggest expense in life that we all have is taxes. We are taxed more than 50% of our income unless you start thinking about tax strategies. It's important because we're talking about making money. We're talking about jumping into the wealth game when it comes to government contracting. So you have to know this stuff. Even if you put it on your wall, I want you to put your vehicle on your wall and say, okay, I have this wheel or I'm missing this wheel. This is the reason why my business is not moving forward or my life is not moving forward or I can't seem to get off the ground and create the wealth that I want to create. You need to audit your business vehicle and see what wheels are missing. Some people have their vehicle parked on the side of the curb with no wheels and don't even know it. You didn't even realize why your your vehicle is not moving, but hopefully this is opening up your mind so you can be able to see. So now you have the cash flow. The last wheel could be, right? There are there are life insurance policies, um, universal index life particular that will allow you to strategically place money in places where your money is going to grow and it's going to grow for you. Money that you can use that's at a tax advantage, that's tax-free, money that you can save and is growing. And this is where your retirement comes from. And there's other different types of tax advantage vehicles as well. But this is where your retirement comes from when you're self-employed because nobody's going to pay your retirement. You have to figure out how you're going to retire in 20 years, 30 years, or however long you want to do it. So these are all the wheels that you need to be able to do that. So universal index life insurance policies grows at minimum 6% compound interest. So the way that the credit cards are set up, you get a $600 credit card and before you know it, you owe $2,000 on it. You're like, how did that happen? Well, it happens by compound interest. And so institutions are basically pimping people who don't know about how money works. But you actually get to put yourself in the position of an institution. Your money is working for you too. If everybody else is getting rich off you, you have to know how to get rich off yourself as well. And-